Coach Tom Hilbert at Colorado State does a very simple, but I think a pretty effective ball handling circuit at the start of his practice. Um, you know, one of the facts of uh, you know acquiring skill is the fact that you just have to touch the ball a lot, and a lot of times. Um, you know, we tend to get scripted as coaches in terms of having to control every contact. So here's, a, you know, just a circuit that the players uh, initiate themselves. And, and they're, again, it's part of a warm-up routine. So there's not a lot of, uh, you know, high-level, high-intensity contacts. But while they're getting loose and while they're getting their, their core temperature elevated, they're, they're touching the ball. So, you know, this, this is all good in terms of, uh, you know, part of the learning process. You know, as, as they go through some of these simple ball handling um, skills, the thing that you want to be aware of is you can put a lot of variety into these where you're changing posture, you're incorporating, you know, a little bit more movement, um, maybe taking their eye off the ball. Um, you know, by doing some 360s or, you know, doing things where they have to, you know, take their eyes off the ball and then find it again. So there's a, a ton of flexibility relative to what kids are doing and some things that you might tweak to, uh, to uh, make it still game-like but also make it, make it challenging. You know, so, for example, in this pass, you know, inside pass, so you can change the postures. You want to make sure your players are changing in, in both directions, um, and sometimes the contact's high, sometimes it's low, just that type of thing. Um, so again, very simple um, program they're going through um, that is open for flexibility. So this is just kind of a three-touch type pepper, and they can stay on the floor like they are now, um, or you can also get them where the third touch, they're kind of doing a you know, a step close and get them in the air a little bit as they're they're tipping the ball over the net. This is uh, kind of picking up the intensity a little bit, and uh, the idea, and some of the players are doing it okay, some of them are not so okay. You know, they're working on posture right now, so ideally they start with your entire body on one side of the net, and then they move forward under the, under the net and then dig the ball, and then quickly they move back to the other side. So this is a four-touch pepper drill. Um, where the defender will dig the first ball, move in for a tip, and then play the ball back over their head. You know, so again, it's kind of here, down, then they have to incorporate some movement and try to run down the ball that's uh, being played back to them. So, you know, gradually the intensity's picking up and, and the movement's picking up and the demands um, are, are you know, being, being, uh, being raised as they get a little bit warmer. This is just normal three-touch pepper that uh, that everybody plays. Um, you know, again, this is kind of a ball control, just putting your hand on the ball and trying to keep it in play, working on posture and, and ball control. This is something that Tom did uh, on the day that I was there. And he's, just, again, just trying to gain ball control. You'll see the players you know, are touching the ball with an open palm, an open hand. And you want to make sure that their wrist is relaxed and they're kind of rolling their hand and wrist over the ball and working on, on ball control. Again, one of the mistakes I think coaches make is they tend to want to control every contact and script it all. And sometimes an athlete just has to be able to react and control the ball on a broken play. So, you know, that's what, uh, what this drill is all about in terms of just gaining ball control and getting your hand on the ball. You can take it to the next level where now it's still, they're playing the ball with an open hand, but ideally they want to try and score the point. So if, in like in this situation where they can jump and swing at the ball, that's something that, that you want. So the open hand, open hand contact, and then jump and swing. So again, it's a good ball control drill. Uh, you don't probably don't want to spend your entire practice doing something like this, but to do it for five minutes every day in practice, the players will start uh, developing some ball control for those broken plays that you really can't practice in the, in the context of a drill. 
This is uh, you know, the, the final aspect of their ball control warm-up where it's three on three. Every time the ball goes over, they have to rotate, and they're trying to score points. So all of these drills, you know, again, you can incorporate them as any, any way you want within your team and their abilities. Uh, but I think the bottom line is the players are touching the ball a lot. There's lots of movement, and it's a good way to start practice.